Hi and welcome. Now, we haven't seen this uh, particular diorama for quite a while and that is my fault because I've just put it to one side and been getting on with other things. Now, things have sort of come full circle now and this diorama I need to actually get on with and get finished. Uh, reasons for that is because uh, this was going to be a gift to my sister-in-law for her birthday and her birthday is today so I've sort of missed the deadline and also I'm sitting here and I realised just how many figures and other things that are lining up. Now we'll have a quick look at what's going to be done on this particular one and also I will have a, a, a little chat about uh, the bits and pieces when we've gone through this. Now, the actual diorama is completed, the base. The brickwork and block work is all being, it's, this is all ready for uh, weathering. So I will be doing uh, a couple of short videos on what I'm weathering and how I'm doing it and bits and pieces like that so uh, you don't sort of not actually miss out but you can see what I'm what I'm actually doing so the actual base is 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 there really the tram that's there as well as you can see it's had the blue uh, coat it just needs to be refined now just touched in places there's a few parts that have been broken over time stood on my shelf been caught so I've got to replace them uh, and just generally get finished off with that. The part of the glass is in which I've already done, the rest of it it shouldn't take me too long to actually get sorted and get that up to uh, ready for the figures. The figures, I'll bring them in now, uh, the actual figures they are virtually completed. I've been off and on these over quite a few weeks and now they're coming to the point they just need the eyes doing and, and some face painting so that will be done over over the next week or so so that is basically what i shall be doing over the next seven days i'm allowing myself seven days and i'm going to be putting most things on hold until that time until this is done and completed and Moving on, I mean, I know a lot of you are following the uh, house build that I'm doing, which started off as just a platform, really, to show you or to demonstrate different building techniques and things like that. And it's gone into virtually a full-blown project itself. And because I've been concentrating a lot on that, I've sort of left other things and things are full circle now I've got to catch up so that will be put on hold not forever that's going to only be put on hold for about seven days so there won't be no update on that this week uh, and really to be fair at the moment I'm trying to get built the panther that goes in the actual building and the recovery vehicle uh, what I'll do, I'll put you on pause and I'll just run through what we've got uh, on that so you you know which way I'm going. Okay, we're back with the house. And as you can see, there's not been a great deal done to it. Well, there's been nothing done to it, to be absolutely honest with you. The simple reason is that I have already started work on the Panthers. And I'll bring the first panther down. Uh, this being the recovery vehicle has got a bit more. Uh, there's a bit more of a build to it than the other panther. The other panther is just just a plain Timir one, very straightforward and quick build. And I wanted to try and get this one sorted because this one is going to be outside and the other one's going to be inside which you're not really going to see much of only the face of it and as you can see by the size of this i mean this is a, a pretty big vehicle to actually 
jam into this house. So I need to get the angle right uh, so I can actually get the uh, recovery vehicle in the right position and to get things looking right and balanced. So I am working on the actual kits themselves so they will be ready after I've finished this other diorama so I can actually get on with this. Uh, other things that we need to be doing is chopping out the roof and getting that uh, positioned right and that will be that will be one of my first uh, videos after I get this other diorama finished will be to actually get the roof finished off and all this cut and shaped and then shaping the inside of this uh, to get the panther in and then working out the amount of debris and how it's really going to work I mean uh, I did say, you know, slipped a track and things like that. And a couple of people did say, you know, it'd be very difficult for a panther to slip a track inside there. Which, you know, I I was just sort of like speaking out loud. Uh, one gentleman did say that probably be better with engine trouble, which I do agree with him. It uh, would be beneficial to have it as engine trouble. I mean, uh, I don't know if you've been what well, if you've been watching the kit reviews. I've already got uh, tank uh, repair crew and th these are more figures that I've got to be painting and also I've uh, got a German soldiers at work on the road I won't be using all the figures off uh, this one but a couple of them uh, will be used and I've al already ordered another set of figures I don't know if I'm going to be using them but I would like some figures up in the top here uh, to make it a bit more of an active scene so that's what's going to be happening with that now I'm going to put you on pause again and I'm going to shift a few things around because there's a few of the bits that uh, that I'll be doing in the future so I might as well do it all in this video and make it like a like a bench update I suppose Okay, I know we're not looking at uh, a diorama base, but uh, a quick explanation. This is for my very good friend uh, John Moore, and he's doing a group build of Operation Torch, and I entered into it. Now these are two of the vehicles that I've already built, painted, they're not weathered or anything like that, but I want to do uh, a diorama base. Now the diorama base, I'm going to be basing it on a sort of like a mountain, i.e. the winding road that comes up. So I'm going to have sort of like the two vehicles slightly higher than each other with a road. Uh, the, the road will come up here with, it's going to be three vehicles all together. So it's going to be quite a big diorama. Uh, I've already started uh, cutting the base and there I have already done there's clips and videos that I've got to build up uh, that so you can see how and what materials I'm using to actually construct the base of that so that is coming up uh, probably not this month well I've got until uh, the end of July I think it is to actually get this one done but I would like to get that well on the way and get that one sorted out now if I move these ones out of the way and the other group build that I'm in is for my very good friend uh, Jens and I can't remember the other gentleman's name now because I won't be able to pronounce it. Uh, no I ain't going to try and pronounce it and make myself look an idiot. Uh, the other one is, this is going to be a small diorama base uh, that, uh, if I dare say it, the other person on the other channel is building. And basically what this is going to be is there's going to be a very small diorama base that this actually sits on with the figures, uh, with the cameraman. This is the cameraman in the centre here. Uh, I will show you how I do the small, uh, it's going to be more like a vignette base for this, a very small base because it needs to be kept quite tight 
Uh, the simple reason is I'm not going to disclose at the moment because this then is going on to another base which we are actually going to build on this channel and once this is complete and finished then I'll go into more detail on the second base that this actually sits on. So it's a double based uh, diorama. So that's coming up and uh, I'm working on that as well uh, along so you can see I've got a very lot of figures I mean there's quite a few figures there that have got to be done also there's figures there for the uh, uh, house to be done as well I've got a lot of figures and also th there is still figures outstanding on the 88 millimeter which is very similar <laughs> very close to the uh, tram base it is that close to being finished and I really need to get these bits out of the way and get them sorted uh, so I can get moved on and get uh, new projects started I will be doing uh, I've got a few tutorials I've got a sandbag one I've got barbed wire which I'll be I'll be putting out as well I just need to finish bits and pieces and editing on that uh, they will be going out. The new ones that I've started on the moulds, uh, I'm running through every mould that I've got and just showing you how I mould it. It's not set in stone that you've got to do it that way. It's just to give you a, a start point just to show you that there's no technical well the, to be honest with you some of the some of the moulds that we get to later on they are a little bit more uh, finicky and you need to do a bit more but I'm running through all the moulds so if, you're, if you've got that mould at least you've got a start point that you can say yes 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 that's done and then you can go back and you can change whatever you want and move it around to how you want a mould it's just there for they're just there for reference more than anything else and we're coming up to the end of this this video and I'd just like to say as well about the Facebook page fantastic response there's been loads of you joined up and there's quite a few of you put your own work up which is absolutely fantastic it is really nice to see uh, what you're doing especially if you've not got your own uh, YouTube channel and you're not showing your work by all means join up and put some pictures up of what you're doing because I just love to see them and uh, also I've found now it's getting uh, it's quite a nice group of people and everybody's helping each other out which that's what I wanted it was help from all directions on that uh, suggestions and uh, new products if you find them to post them up all things like that just to genuinely help everybody out uh, and that's what it's all about is helping each other out and at the end of the day getting some really nice dioramas built so if you'd like to join you're more than welcome to join and come across and join up I will be trying to sort out a bit of a, a bit of a hangout uh, I'm not quite sure how it works yet but it would be nice to speak to some of you face to face you, you know if you if you've got a video if you've got a a, a webcam and a microphone uh, I've been checking into this about these hangouts and if you're watching and you know about it if you would get in contact with me and uh, sort of like uh, guide me through because it would be nice you know to have a little bit of a chat with people because uh, sometimes using the one finger typing is not as good it's, it's better than well it's not as good as uh, actually talking to somebody face to face uh, so all little possibilities running off that way right that's the end of this video thank you very much for sitting through and listening to me uh, gabble on and uh, like I say I will be doing some updates on the weathering and things like that. I will be putting them up over the over the next week. So, uh, thank you very much, and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.